Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday start of the work week. Starting things off here with an earthquake out in Los Angeles right now. We've got a 4.7 earthquake coming in to the South Pasadena area of California. By the way, it's about 12.22 p.m. here, August 12th, 2024. This earthquake just coming in to the Southern California area. Let's see if it's even on the seismos yet. Doesn't look like it's even showing up on the seismograph station. So this is a brand new earthquake just coming in here within the last minute or two underneath an automatic status. So this has not been reviewed yet. Uh, no doubt, I'm sure quite a few viewers are gonna be coming in here, letting us know they felt it. Uh, while you're here, let us know what it felt like, how strong it was and where you're at. This earthquake is south of the area of our last week's 5.2 earthquake here outside of Bakersfield. You guys remember all that earthquake activity? Well, this area is still continuing to see some earthquake activity, uh, but now we got some further movement out here in broader scale across the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. Got to watch this, folks, because it's getting quite active out here across the southern portion of the state here in the last couple days. All right, so this 4.7 looks like it had occurred. Um, trying to see here which exactly, which fault system this is on. Uh, of course, Southern California riddled with faults all over the place. It's a spider web complex of many different faults and fractures out here. A very uh, sensitive area in terms of earthquake potential and faults. Potentially the Eagle Rock Fault, hard to say. Uh, but we know this activity up here from last week was on an unnamed fault, an undiscovered fault. So we're getting all these different fault systems popping up that have not been discovered before. A good sign and an indicator of some highly stressed land out here uh, with the uh, plate boundary here. Of course, the San Andreas Fault being right in the middle of the North American and the Pacific Plate. Prior to this four point, it looks like they just downgraded it. Here we go again, up and down on the magnitudes. Let's check that out before they uh, remove those um, origins here. So it has been reviewed. Seismologist has jumped in real quick on this one for a 4.6. And let's check out these magnitudes here. They went with a uh, reporting error station of 0.276. So there's things that take place here when there's an earthquake. Numerous stations send in the data, um, you know, as far as location, the amplitude reading, the magnitude reading, um, and whatnot to spit out a preliminary earthquake magnitude. <coughs> magnitude, excuse me. So. Uh, it originally came in as a 4.7. There's some reports here that this was a low grade 5. And that's even going with the stations that they picked here. So I'm surprised this got downgraded. I'm seeing more upper magnitudes than I am lower magnitudes. You guys see this? This is a magnitude reading over here that the stations have picked up. And um, I don't see any low grade 4s out here that would make me think this is lower than a 4.7. Let's see what we got here on the Seismos. Oh, yeah, there it is, showing up quite nicely on the Barrett Station. Cal State Bakersfield picking that up. And even there in Northern California, around Eureka, Petrolia, picking up that P wave from this supposed 4.6 earthquake. So let me know, folks, uh, where you're at, what it felt like. 7.5 miles below the surface. Again, all the earthquake activity we've seen out here recently, specifically in and around the San Andreas Fault is a good sign here, not of releasing pressure and everything's gonna be hunky-dory. It's a sign of increasing strain out here against this area. Things are building up across numerous areas in Southern California. And of course, the Southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault is well overdue for a big one. We're talking about over 300 years since we've seen a last full rupture here of the Southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. So we're overdue, not only on that plate, but on this fault system here, but many others throughout California well overdue. So as I said, over the last couple of weeks, I think we're entering into a more active period of earthquake activity and potentially the 8.1 could be in the near future. So there's that 4.6. Oh, downgraded again. Come on, might as well bring it down to a two. You, you guys didn't feel any earthquake out there, did you? That was only a two-pointer. Come on. <laughs> Keep downgrading these like crazy. Even though, look at these magnitudes here. Oh, <laughs> they originally went with this one, right? But the magnitudes were so large. So they went with four, just only four stations with no station details contributed 
to come up with a magnitude of a 4.3 now. Wow. Okay. Anyway, let us know, folks, in the update video here where you're at, what it felt like, if it felt stronger than a 4.3. Um, a 4.4, that's what they're going with. Some of the reports coming in right now, it looks like, uh, from the Southern California area. It's going to take a little bit for folks to probably gather their nerves after a little jolt to report this earthquake activity. So that may not come in until a a little while but there was a shake alert system sent out um and los angeles of course highly populated right see here what we got a lot of times they'll state out here what uh the magnitude was put out in terms of the alert system the early shake alert system but it does look like there was one pick uh one put out let us know where you're at what it felt like and um and, you know just got to be prepared out here folks southern california obviously well overdue for some big earthquake activity it looks like there was a couple smaller quakes here from yesterday around this 4.4 1.3 to 1.7 from yesterday but things are still picking back up goodness right pretty crazy so uh let us know in the comments below where you're at what it felt like how long whether it's a rolling or a jolt motion and uh, we'll be back here this afternoon a little bit later to keep an eye on everything that's taking place here, guys. So, uh, And, of course, on the live stream, we do have uh, seismograph stations up of various areas in California. Also, the Earthquake 3D globe up here. The EMSC is still reporting this as a 4.7 on the globe. So uh, I, it seems like the last couple of earthquakes out here, the USGS is quick to downgrade, even though the majority of the stations out here are showing higher magnitudes there uh, and compared to what they are reporting so let us know uh viewer input is highly recommended here that gives us some scientific information on this end to maybe make a uh you know put a little story together that maybe this was a bigger earthquake than uh, what's being put out there to the public from the usgs so we'll continue to keep an eye on it let us know folks we'll catch you guys back out here in a little bit